All right, it's Thursday morning and I've just decided I'm gonna go for a drive. Uh, so let's go. What do you reckon, Millie? Let's go. All right, first stop of the day, giving it a second chance. Pretty cool, this Ford racing jacket. Uh, only problem is they got $40 on it, so I'll we'll leave this one behind. A couple of records here for three bucks. David Essex on tour. Dead or Alive. And Keep Smiling with Daryl and Ozzy. I didn't comp this one, but I'm just getting it anyway. The other two should go to about 20 inch. Not a heap in there, I just grabbed this Cruel Intentions trilogy. It's only worth 12 bucks, but the dollar, and it sells really quickly, so I might as well grab it. Alright, these guys are pretty expensive, so probably be a quick stop. A whole bunch of shitty games here that they've overpriced. They've got about 10 shelves of DVDs in here, they're all overpriced. They really need to go through them and clear some of them out for 50 cents each or something. And have a look at this banger. Did I get it? Nah. All right, so I'm sitting here editing and I thought I would explain this one to you guys a bit better. I uh, stuff this up. Um, I wasn't sure about this. This was only eight bucks, this Essendon jersey, but it was a kid's one and it was quite small and I really wasn't sure about it. Uh, the kid's stuff just doesn't go that well. Uh, I messaged the boys in the group chat, um, but unfortunately they were uh, busy at the time, so they didn't see it. So I ended up leaving it behind and then they informed me a bit later on that it's actually quite rare. It's a 2006 Heritage jersey um, and even a kid's one would go for like 60 to 80 bucks. So it's not a massive loss or anything. I was 15 minutes away when uh, they messaged me back. I could have went back and got it, but I couldn't be bothered. I was going in the wrong direction if I did that. So. I just decided to leave it. So yeah, I thought I'd just explain that a bit better. It's still something I'm learning, clothing, uh, footy gear. Uh, I buy a lot of footy gear and I've learnt tons already, uh, especially from Jada and Robbie. They know a shitload about that sort of stuff. So they've helped me out heaps, but uh, I missed this one, but never mind. We'll find another one one day. I did pick up this very cool 90s AFL mug though. Uh, a commemorative mug, 600 out of 3,000. Three bucks, so I'll probably make a few dollars out of that one. And they had this vintage 49ers jacket behind the counter, so I asked to have a look at it and they had $180 on it. It's got holes everywhere on it, um, which isn't too bad. They're only small holes, but I mean, 180 bucks, it's probably not gonna go for more than that anyway. All right, salvos. This salvos is pretty good, so hopefully we can find some good stuff and it doesn't let me down today. So I picked up a bunch of clothing here. This uh, Rugby World Cup 2003 jacket it was half price. It was only $5.50, so I grabbed it. Bruno Mars tour t-shirt, uh, just grab that. Robbie Williams tour t-shirt, I always pick tour t-shirts up, um, just a sucker for them. This Nike LeBron shirt uh, should go all right. Uh, Major League Baseball Dodgers shirt. And I've got a bunch of these Lego shirts. They're kind of crossover shirts, uh, not your sort of everyday Lego shirts. Um, so I think they'll go all right. And at the very worst, I've got a mate who absolutely loves Lego. This Lego Land one will probably be a bit better than the other ones. Um, and then I just got this cheap Thrasher shirt. It was half price as well. And look here, another huge wall of overpriced DVDs that they can't sell and they won't reduce the price as well. All right, next one, another Salvo. Not a lot in this Salvos, but I just grabbed this Storm 2007 Premiers Polo for five bucks. And how cool is this? This huge Star Trek framed print. I had 60 bucks on it, I was never going to buy it, but it was just massive. Now this is an interesting one, this is a six season complete collection of some random animated Indian TV show. There are no sold comps for it on eBay and there is one listed overseas as an auction 
with no bids. I usually pick stuff up like this and just take a punt on it. It was $9, a little bit more than I'd like to spend taking a punt on something like this. But sometimes I do really well out of this random foreign stuff. All right, Vinny's Cranburn. The last two times that I've come here, I found a $100 game. So let's hope we can keep the street going. Well, there was no banger video games in here, and even if there was, I wouldn't be able to show you because the file came out corrupt. Do not buy a GoPro. This Vinny's is just super overpriced. I've got no idea who this guy is, but you can buy him cheaper than that on eBay. And what do you know? Another wall of overpriced DVDs. They've got seasons there for $10 that you can get for three or four dollars on ebay and had this other section that i didn't know about uh with all the electronics and stuff but again just sort of really overpriced not too bad some of the stuff if you just wanted it for yourself but a lot of this stuff isn't going to sell i mean I've sold vintage cameras before and i don't really know what this is worth but i don't think it's worth 65 dollars Alright, just pulled up to Savers number one, second last stop of the day. Been chatting to my man Chris Furlong and he cleaned them out this morning. So hopefully they've restocked from Drunk Away now. Grabbed a few shirts here, this Hawks one's pretty cool. This Deadpool jersey was just super cheap. I uh, got that He-Man one for myself, actually my size. That Bruce Lee UFC combo is pretty cool. And this is a Dreamworld t-shirt. Uh, I'm not sure how old it is, but it's pretty cool. And I love this, I wish this was my size. Touchdown Bundy, Married with Children. I absolutely love Married with Children and Al Bundy. Uh, and then we got this Saints basketball jersey uh it was 10 bucks i've been told by my man jada that this is best and less shit but it will sell and i will make a profit on it anyway and then this cowboys nrl jersey basketball jersey from 2004 so this is a little bit more legit um so i'm not sure what it's worth but you do a ride out of it and then the state of origin uh blues jersey there that was pretty cheap and then there's this cheap North Melbourne hoodie. I just got it because it was only six bucks. All right, uh, I'm on the way home. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna wrap this up quickly or you won't be able to see me. Um, I never made it to the second savers. I spent too much time in the bloody first one. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty well out of it. Um, and then, then I just ended up going to Nikki's for dinner. Um, it's pretty handy, I can beat the traffic that way. And it's always good to catch up with her, of course. So. We'll wrap it up now. Thanks for watching all the way through. Really appreciate it. Look after yourself. Be kind. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Car just drove past me while I was doing me. Cheers.